southern and any excess flux that's lingering around we'll just kind of wipe it off with our glove or a rag and I always do this just so that when I do go to solder it makes a nice clean joint and you don't have solder running everywhere there's uh, flux Okay, now we're going to get our solder together and the particular solder that you want is you want lead free solder or 95.5 and you noticed I had a hook on the end of the uh, solder that's so that I can reach around the other side of the uh, pipe when I need to Notice the fire lane that I'm putting on, putting on here. The uh, hottest point is right there at the blue tip of it. And you will notice that the solder, just like water, will follow the heat. So we just put the fire where we want the solder to go. And it will suck the solder right up in there. We don't want the fire on the pipe. We don't want the fitting. So it will suck the solder right up in there. Now you can see the uh, solder starting to be drawn up into the fitting. It's a little run down the side. We're just going to kind of wipe that with our glove or our rag if you have one. It's important that we uh, try not to let it get down onto the uh, threads. And what we're doing here is just kind of capping it off a little, giving it a little extra solder just to make sure we have that tight seal. Okay, here we have a uh, three-quarter inch coupling, and you notice there is a brass piece attached to it. So what we're going to do this time, we're going to aim the fire the opposite way of the brass piece so that we don't heat the brass piece up any hotter than we need to. And this is a uh, vertical solder. And once we get the cut solder to start to take, we'll start wiping the solder up into the joint rather than wiping it away. Okay, now it's sucking the solder up in there. And once we get a good flow, and notice when we get the solder too tight, we gradually pull the flock fire away from the fitting, so we don't even overheat it, and the solder runs everywhere. Okay, now we've got the solder going up in there pretty good. And you see we wipe it up in there with the glove or the rag if you have one. And again, we're just capping it off for a little extra precaution.